Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the return of Cooking with Josh episode 2. Now this is a special episode dedicated to Sophie and Mark and also Rachel if you've watched this I'm not sure but you're all leaving and leaving us all behind that's that's very poor you shouldn't be doing that what am I gonna do now I'm gonna be so lost anyway today's meal will be um, fish and chips with a twist I'm going to be doing some fresh Atlantic salmon from Morrison's which has a barbecue sauce thing seasoning already and sweet potato fries uh, got a lovely pair of sweet potatoes there and there's the salmon all banged up um, basic ingredients a bit of paprika uh, salt pepper olive oil um, not a lot more to it than that I'm gonna do some peas but that would be fairly boring to watch cooking so not gonna do the peas um, all I need to do really prep wise is to sort the potatoes out and cut them up into chips and put the various seasoning bits and bobs on them so I shall do that in a second um, all my other bits and bobs that I need are over there but they're not food they're just pans and stuff so you won't get to see those so Give me a second and I'll start the sweet potatoes. So, need to give the sweet potato a wash, get rid of all the dirt, because I'm leaving the skins on. It's like when you play football when you're younger, skins and the shirts. This one's going to be skins. So, we'll give this a good wash and get rid of all the knobbly bits and weird and wonderful bits which potatoes seem to get. Funny thing about real vegetables. So now the potato has been de nobbified and washed. I'm gonna cut it up with a knife. Ooh. Yeah, let's go this way. Steaming bastard thing about sweet potato. It's not easy to cut into. Helps when the chopping board doesn't move either. There we go. Bloody thing. Put a teaspoon on the chopping board, that would help. And if you heard that, that's Steph. <laughs> With some actual cooking advice. <laughs> Yeah, we won't listen to her. Makes it more funny. <laughs> we won't be eating that bit either.
I might have to take a break a second to feed the cat. She seems to be wanting food. So once I've cut this bit of the potato, there we are. I shall be back with you shortly. <laughs> it <laughs> fell off the edge of it, just landed on it. Oh, oh. <laughs> I think I'm gonna stay for supervision purposes because I don't trust you with that knife. Right. And I'm back with the knife again. Um, just fed the cat. Steph's kindly put down this tea towel, so hopefully the thing won't move. But it's bound to move because I'm me. And she's laughing at me. <laughs> I'm going big and chunky with these. Obviously, you might not want to. Each to their own. Some just can't fit the whip in. Seriously, this is want to be one of the most annoying vegetables to cut up. No, you just can't cook it like everybody else. <laughs> I'm getting criticised while I'm filming the video. <laughs> and we're cut so I'm gonna cut this and get ready to season these so now I'm gonna do a bit of seasoning so olive oil just lather it on Some that black pepper on there, get that salt, and some paprika. Now get your hands in and get working it. Working it like a Rihanna song. So you've got everything sort of coated and that didn't drop out of the bowl and onto the tea towel, honestly. So there we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they look about right. Right, I'll wash my hands and stop recording. So don't want to talk. Mm. <laughs> Now, if you're really smart here, you would have already preheated the oven to 180 degrees, but I forgot, so I'll do that now. So, now that the oven has preheated, they're on a lightly oiled baking tray, and I'm going to stick them in the oven at 180 for 35 minutes about uh, kind of thing and I'll give them a swaz around at some point right here goes nothing 
So the timer's just gone off on the chips, so I'm going to take these out, shake them off again, and then I can start on the rest of the food. So, put that down there, slide that out of the way. Um, that's one or two, I think. extra longer maybe let's turn let's put them in for 20 yeah let's turn the oven up slightly maybe yeah let's turn the oven up. Further 15 minutes should hopefully do it, um, and I'll be back shortly. So, just a bit of extra background. We'll be doing the salmon on the grill pan. So I'm just warming that up now, and the peas are going to be done iron the half in boiling water as per usual. And that's the talking out list that everybody seems to like. So I'll be back. Once I'm ready to put the salmon on, and the peas will only take a few minutes anyway, so yeah, I'll be back shortly. So, uh, that time to film, uh, cut the salmon out, even not film it. So, there we are, that's the skin side of things. I'm going to put it on the griddle now. Should take about four minutes each side. And above the sizzling, you may be able to hear my mum having a go at the cat for scratching. And that's my mum going. Where's the fish bar? So, the salmon is still cooking, as you can see, probably. Let's have a quick look, a bit of a close up. There we are. That's the water for the peas. Just gonna get that on the boil. It's 
So what I'm going to do probably is, well, you can see the salmon is cooking, the water's in for the peas. So I'm going to probably stop filming the cooking section now and bring it back when um, I plate it up. So I'll see you shortly. And now here we have the final product, the char grilled griddled salmon, whatever you want to call it. We have sweet potato chips and garden peas. Now I will be posting this video at some stage so hopefully you'll see it and Steph's getting rather hungry and I am too so I'm going to say bye now. Bye, hope you've enjoyed it. Like, share, subscribe, feel the love.